And hello everyone, this is Chaos Havocs, and I bring you something different. A couple weeks ago, you may have noticed our first episode on our Free to Be server with my co-host Katronica. Well, if you care to take a look at this over here, yep, I brought him on. K hey K, say hi. <laughs> yes, right at the moment he can't re record his voice, but <laughs> we thought the amount of deaths would be funny because we just ran through the dungeon a couple times to get him all the good stuff. And And he's made a new character, so I don't know what all he has. And we've been getting him stuff all day, so it's kind of been a little chaotic. Uh, I couldn't record till now, and I didn't think you'd want to watch me run through the dungeon about 200 times again. But then we started dying a lot, and it went, crud, we should be recording this. So we, I started, even though he can't talk. We got K a handgun, a cobalt shield, a Muramasa. And a and a shadow key because today's event we are going down to hell. <laughs> we're going down to hell, and we're gonna go make a base there, just like we've made a base at the dungeon and at the underground jungle. I'll show you how to do that. It's quite possible. You just need to do it the right way. Uh, as soon as I uh. Make space in my inventory. Yes, grab my shadow key, some that dynamite, and <laughs> and off camera, as you can see, I've done a lot of work, and I've reworked my tower a bit so that way it doesn't look so cruddy. We've built K a house, and now we're gonna go show you the. Elevator. Sorry if I go quiet all, but I've got to type to him since his uh, audio equipment at the moment isn't working. So if you'll bear with me, I guarantee you we will have a fun experience down in the depths of hell while building. Where is he? Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, jolly good. <laughs> Time to catch up to K. Time to catch up to K. He's about 10,000. Jump, man. Jump, man. Woo! Yeah, this is one of those little fun things that the magic missile can do. And now Kay's back on his way. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, voodoo demon. Voodoo demon. Uh, do I have the heart to tell Kay that I forgot to bring a bed? <laughs> yeah, this might not go so well. Anyways, I'm going to start clearing this out, folks, and we're going to get to, uh, building another underground base. But this time, this base is going straight to hell. Put the light sunglasses on. Which K has now, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I handed him a set of those. I might showcase those in a moment, as those are rather cool. Err, I hate these things. They're like the rats. They're like rats here.
yeah, so as you can see, my computer still has that ear ghost problem where it flicked itself. Well, since the demons aren't using it, we'll commandeer it, eh, man? Now then, there's a trick. You don't have to build your own walls. So long as the uh, back walling isn't natural walling, we can make it. All right, so uh, I'm gonna hand over some of these. And, uh, oh, it comes with two pre-built hell forges. Interesting, but apparently we need a bench to make them. So I'm going to troll K by doing this. And now we're going to grab a few more supplies and then we're going to head back down. Um. <laughs> wow. That was ironic. <laughs> oh, wow. This is such a mess. It's odd not being able to talk to him. Ninja this. There we go. Now we've got more. And now we're going to steal this and this. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm probably trolling right now. Anyways, we're going to go back down and we're going to finish this off. Now then, the are actual solid blocks like these, they don't need to be they don't need to be uh, placed by you they can be natural but this back welling yeah that needs to go because that stuff is natural you can't have natural back walls or it won't work reason I'm using the magic missile like this is it's giving me a trail of light so that way you all can film this now then another thing we should be discussing is the hell level items we need to be looking through these purple chests called shadow chests. These shadow chests hold some of the best loot in the game. The more of it we can get, the better off we will be as a whole on this let's play. And you don't even need to have the entire tower. We're probably going to take the entire tower just as a sign of hey, we came, we saw, we took Yoshi. But anyways, not a, another thing we need to discuss. Is splitting this stack and something else. These demons over there, they drop magic spell books called the Demon Sides. It's a actually fairly good spell and it's the exact spell it's using to troll us right now. Now that those demons are also have a variation called the voodoo demon yeah we've discussed them you if you see them holding a doll they're not a demon anymore they're a voodoo demon you want that son you want that d-bag to die rather quickly as he will get quite annoying
<laughs> he just went all quiet. All right. Does he have the bed from my? I bet he has the bed from the dungeon. Oh, the bed from the dungeon just kind of sitting there. Urgh. Well, we could always go to the cloth here to buy silk, I think. I thought we could. The heck is the doctor shirt? I don't know. Let's just go right back down there. Now we need a bed. Uh, this is gonna get tricky. Alright, I'm gonna run over to the underground jungle real quick, guys, and grab a bad bat for the moment. That's all you really need to know. <laughs> this has been Chaos Havoc's all, and I bid you... Uh, no, never mind. We're gonna have a nice long episode this time around. Because I know it's been really short, and I've probably only been recording a couple minutes, so... We're gonna go grab the... Bed. And I'm gonna have K scout for tests. While he does that, we're gonna go grab that bed from the underground jungle, and we're going to get ourselves that base set up. Oh! Jolly good. Oh, jolly good, yeah. Uh, apparently we seem to have a blood moon. Yeah, oh yeah! Something else I'll showcase while we're up uh, here is that uh, off camera, I discovered a floating island. Yes, our flo first floating island, yes. We're going to, well, Kay doesn't know about it. Go up there. And if it's anything not the lucky horseshoe, I'll give it to her. But if it's the lucky horseshoe, I'm keeping it. Now then, if you have a grappling hook, traversing one of these is rather easy, as you can see. Gravity is also lowered. Here, and... You're going to need a dungeon key and an annoying star fury. That is the most trolly thing ever. It's useless, nearly so. Loot all and well, let's get it. Don't get me wrong, I could still showcase. But as you can see, is it the best? Not by any means or measures. I regret nothing because I will live. <laughs> yes, you could use your specter, your boots, your jet boots, even your double jump to save your life after a massive fall. That fall would have done over a thousand damage, which is well over what I tolerable even in game at max health. Now then, another thing we need to consider are those voodoo doll demons. We need to get their voodoo doll, which if you kill a demon holding a voodoo doll, chances are it will drop the voodoo doll. The issue is that if it drops into lava, you're going to have a situation on your hands. One that you will not enjoy one in the slightest bit because the boss that dropping that doll in the lava does summons is the W-O-F. I will not utter his first name until we actually fight the bloody dastard. For his is a name we shall not speak of lightly. For he is the mid game boss. Now then. The mid game boss. Fighting him will actually become a repeatable chore soon because only through fighting him can you get special items. Like the breaker blade. The clockwork assault rifle. The pwn hammer. Yes, you, he will always 100% drop the pwn hammer and something else. You want the pwn hammer. That is what allows you access to the mid-game ores by smashing 
chests by smashing shadow chests. <laughs> I got that on camera. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back down there before he gets a little frustrated. And now we watch him plummet. I think. Am I lagging? Wouldn't be surprised if I was. Yeah, I think we're lagging. We. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. As you can see, the magic missile actually fires a little solid missile part, but it's the magic that falls the cursor. And I see Case done a bit of redecorating. Lol. Anyways, now then, to finish our base. Please don't tell me. Please. Please. Am I blind? I think I'm blind, folks. Did I grab the bed? Oh my god! <laughs> Such an idiot! I didn't grab the bed! Oh! Ah, oh, you forgot about it. <laughs> ah! It's a Venu Demon! <laughs> Alright! First thing we're gonna do... We're going to build us a wall and put a door in it. And watch K die once more. As you can see, hell is rather highly spotted, like the underground jungle caverns, because there's a lot of air area for the flying demons to spawn in. And as you can see, there's a lot of there's a lot of flying enemies. This is probably our biggest non-house base. Now, sorry if I'm going quiet, folks, it's just I'm tryharding at the moment, and I'm quite angry with myself for forgetting the freaking bed. The one thing I went to the jungle to get, and I didn't grab it. Ugh. Alright, I'm gonna put K back on walling duty, and then I'm going back up and getting that bed.
get the water, gravity bar. <laughs> All right, now then, we're take going to have take two in that bed, folks. Let's see. Will Chaos Havoc be an idiot if we get it again? Probably. Oh, I'm so sorry, folks. I know we're just making a right hash out of this. It is really odd just having to talk to K through the keyboard and not having him hear me. It's just really odd. Especially after doing all those Feed the Beasts. Which, by the way, at the time of this recording, only episode 5 is out. So check it out, folks. Anyways, it'll be on Katronica's cat channel. Yes, his YouTube name is Katronica right there. It's spelled right there on the bottom of the screen. Go check it out. Anyways, I think there'll be about maybe seven more episodes of that coming up in the soon-to-be future. And as soon as I grab this hammer, this bed, and put it down in the base, I'm going to call it an episode there, folks, because I can't afford to have too many long videos anymore with the current issues my computer's having. And this is Bun Chaos Havix. And I bid... You psych. Yeah, right. I just told... Bleh. I'm forgetting my own self at this point. At least this is not as much of a walk as to the dungeon. Yes, the dungeon is just a ridiculous walk. Well, I know there's no meteors over to the left because me and Kay were just over there and we didn't see hide or hair no of one. So, either they hit that uh, useless derelict sky bridge. Wow. Snapped in half by a sky. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Kay collects tombstones. Anyways, us. Uh, yes, this blade of grass is awesome. Anyways, I regret nothing because we ain't dead. I'm gonna grab those cobwebs. Next time we need to make a bed. Oh wow, that almost killed me. Anyways, now that grab the bed, leave this silly stuff here. Pick <laughs> up like an idiot on camera. Mirror, mirror, mirror. All right, now that we're gonna do a little magic mirror challenge. Can we get into the house without breaking the magic mirror, my folks? Had the door been open, probably. Dang it! There wasn't no reason to. There wasn't any reason to fail that one. All right, and we. Oh! What? I was like, that was like thirty blocks. Oh. What? Uh. That's what I get for being stupid, folks. Haha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's trolling me now. Although, that's rather fair. Anyways, let's see if I can collect my loot. Let's see if I can collect my scattered remains. Okay, there's my remains. Now, let's go down. Down, down the elevator. Whee! Down, down we go. And bish bosh boom, we have a bed and a spawn point set. Yeah. 
And we have an intruder. Alright guys, this has been Chaos Havocs. Uh, this has been my episode of how to build a house in the... In hell, and I bid you adieu. Bye-bye.